Welcome back guys, this is Buzzroad and we're back with another RTS Siege Up video. Today I have a very special game for you. It is a multiplayer free-for-all game featuring LORP, Abakusine, Haz and myself as Buzzroad. Now Abakusine is actually the developer, so he's playing red, I'm yellow, Haz is blue and LORP is green. So this is playing from a first person perspective. Um, I haven't actually played this map before. It is a island map where we start off with an island and there's a bridge that connects to um, a gold mine and a metal mine. So as you can see, there's not much space on this island, uh, but you can fit most of the buildings you need. And of course, to be able to reach the other islands and attack my opponents, I will need to use the um, shipyard and build the transport ship. Now I will be cutting some of the footage out just because I'm going to be just building up and also um, just note that there's going to be a bit of Russian text uh, because the developer himself is Russian and I think someone else in the game is Russian so I don't know exactly what they're saying but maybe someone can translate in the comments below. So right now I'm just building up and getting some heavy swordsmen and some archers and a few of the other lower tier um, soldiers as well from the barracks. So I'm just loading up into the transport ship, have a few ships as well to protect them and potentially defend my own base. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm gonna do, mess up and then uh, send my units over to attack. And right now I'm going to explore, well, try and see if I can land um, an attack. So I probably should have explored this map uh, a bit sooner but um, yeah I was n normally I play on my PC so uh, if, if you hear some tapping that's basically me tapping on the screen so that's what that is and we see that lob here uh, green he already has some ships defending his uh, entry towards his base with two of his own ships now I'm just gonna walk past with the transport ship and fortunately the transport ship is actually pretty tough, has a lot of HP. I unload here and I start attacking and I noticed that uh, Blue is already here with battering rams. So Lop is actually being uh, teamed up against now. Well, you know, not purposely, but you know, just happened to be attacked by two players. So um, I just thought it was funny, so I just type LOL and we are going to try and destroy some of uh, Blue's um, battering rams as well. So that's Has. And yeah, there's not really um, much defense that Green has anymore. He's just trying to hang on. Um, I didn't realize this at the time, but Green actually had a bunch of his units above that bridge. So north of that bridge he had some units there to rebuild. Now at this point I did think that Lop was already knocked out but it turns out he wasn't so the units at the top there he was gonna rebuild and uh, he's gonna keep playing the game. Now at this point I try and take down some of the other ships that I can from green but uh, my transport ship has died so my troops there are stuck there for the time being. Green still has a lot of ships, so he can actually defend the edge of his island quite well. And as a result, my um, all of my swordsmen died there. But luckily I have one archer left to pick away at the shipyard that he has. So after that, I'm just going back and rebuilding some of my troops here. Now I do have a lot of resources floating there, so definitely when I was trying to control my army wasn't uh, macroing up and building, which is um, one of the things you always want to do, keep building units. But it is difficult to do this um, on mobile, for sure. So, um, yeah, I don't know what Has is saying there, but I'm just going to continue and try and push to the other two islands. So I haven't even scouted um, where blue and red is. So, um, that's definitely something I should have 
done because I haven't even seen this map um, when I was playing this. I didn't even know that um, you know the layout of the map. Um, so yeah, just <laughs> slowly picking away at that one shipyard there. Now, in one of the improvements, or rather, one of the features that was added to the game was you could build buildings um, further out from where you are. So you can build buildings away from your base, provided you have a unit near you and there isn't an enemy unit. So that's why I tried to put down a tower there, but um, Lorp still had um, his ships around, so I couldn't build anything there. So this is the phase again where I'm just loading up uh, more units and going back to um, that. So I'm just going to skip ahead now. And I'm at 60 supply, 66. I have a few units in these transport ships and a few more um, attack ships. And at this point I'm thinking of moving out to go down to the south of where I am and dropping uh, my troops there. Um, doing this sort of thing really leaves me open to being attacked because there's only I only have one tower to defend and literally nothing else, so it's very vulnerable at um, my base and doing this. In hindsight, of course, I should have uh, kept making some more ships before I left, or at least kept some units behind, or even just added some more towers um, as a defense. So now I do reach uh, the island here, which is owned by Red, so the developer, and I'm trying to land my units here. And there we go. There's a bunch of units there, I don't see too much. Um, there's a few archers standing over on the right hand side there of the screen. Um, so it looks like everything's going alright. Um, I'm having a bit of difficulty trying to <laughs> control my units there. They're kind of like just going all over the place. Um, it does kind of um, make it a bit hard to control, especially when I have like these uh, ships also selected as well. So there's a whole bunch of archers now being unloaded there on the right hand side of um, the screen for um, red. And I'm trying to take out some of these uh, ships of red as well. Um, not the greatest control I have here because a lot of my units that are just standing there um, attacking this uh, castle which does go down but there's still a bunch of troops left for red on the right hand side. Um, there's a bit of chat going on in uh, Russian again I'm not sure what that's saying but red does decide to load up all his troops and head out now I do try and attack the transport ship but unfortunately it does it is quite beefy and I am being attacked right now at my base. Um, I think I didn't realize but Red does look like he unloaded a bunch of units over to my base and that was the problem I had before, well the issue I mentioned because I had nothing home to defend, uh, it's very easy to lose everything there. Um, so right now what I should be doing is trying to load my units back into the transport ships and heading back home. Um, but yeah, I did get defeated there just because I lost my town hall and a bunch of, um, of my buildings. So yeah, so interestingly what happens here is when you are defeated, can still control some of your units, but um, I don't think you can attack directly, or for some reason the attack um, doesn't work as well. So red, um, if you see close on the mini-map there, there's actually an island right in the middle of the map. And what I found out later was that Red actually has a base there, so he didn't actually get wiped out um, as I thought. 
So, he's still in the game, um, and I'm knocked out. I think I'm the first person to get knocked out. So, I'm still trying to figure out what happened there, and I'm like trying to move my units around. Um, but yeah, it's not really working that well. So that's the end of that for me. Um, the next time I'm going to uh, see... Well, the next time I'm going to be um, in the game again is as an observer. So I'm trying to like load my units there, but it doesn't work. Um, so yeah, that's just something that happens. Um, you can also see that my ship isn't even attacking red ship. Um, when you are defeated. Well, okay. For some reason, <laughs> it does attack now. But yeah, I'm just going to skip ahead now to the spectator view, because that's what uh, you can do after you get defeated. You can leave the game and then come back in as a spectator. Alright, so with the spectator view, you can see the whole map and pretty much everything that's happening. Uh, we can see here a small skirmish between Abuku Sign, the player red, and Lop in green attacking with a bunch of crossbowmen. Um, he just landed a ship there and he is taking down all the units in um, the middle island there. Meanwhile, blue still is uh, safe at the moment. There's not much defending his island and green does have a few um, troops at home and he's also built on with his uh, island on the edge of the map there. So green does seem to have a bunch of units left over to take down the rest of these buildings. Um, so yeah, this uh, doesn't look too good for a books again. And green, a uh, lot there, is looking poised to win this free-for-all game. He does have the most amount of troops on the map at the moment. He has the most amount of ships. And uh, he has a lot more uh, crossbowmen as uh, anyone else or so, uh, Red is trying to kind of hold in there. He's just massing up some troops in the middle to wait and push back green. So, there is one tower left defending and a few troops there. Um, but it definitely doesn't look like there'll be enough. So it is a matter of just waiting for green to steamroll uh, the rest of the plays, it seems like. Blue doesn't really have much going for him as well. Like has he only has like one ship there. Well actually two ships. Um Abuka sign has like five ships over there. And he is making a push to defend from green. And he does manage to do that. Though there is some um, so there is a chance actually for Abuka sign. It's just a matter of making enough troops. Um, his knights did save the day there, uh, but the thing is, Lop does have control of the sea because he has a much larger ship fleet compared to Abuku Sign. And jumping ahead here, we see Blue taking an attack on to Red, and he, our uh, Abuku Gun does type GG, so he does concede to um, the two forces here, Lop and Blue attacking him at the same time in, well not not the same time but uh, one after the other so uh, Red does not have enough ships to uh, contest these number of ships that Blue has and he's also being attacked by the ships from the sea at the moment so his cavalry there are taking a bit of a beating um, so Lop is still building up again, um, he's still sitting at home with all these ships and uh, troops. Well, meanwhile, Blue is just collecting resources at home. Um, he doesn't really have any troops to attack, he just used his ships. The next big move out in this game is Green coming in with all of his troops, all his ships, and unloading a fresh batch of uh, troops here. Now this is definitely more than enough to um, finish off this base here. Um, so there's not much left to really do for green. Um, it's now between green and 
blue. So definitely, uh, Lop has the advantage. He does have an actual ground troop, uh, ground army, I should say. Well, has has only got a bunch of ships. So we'll see uh, what happens there. But definitely, um, green is still favored to win at this point in time. And we're just going to uh, watch here as the last buildings fall for red. <laughs> so green even has some of his um, workers with his army here. We do see a clash there. Blue actually does have a sizable amount of ships. Um, and there are reinforcements coming for the way, um, on the way for green on the left hand side there. So blue does have an advantage uh, at this point, but with these reinforcements, it's going to look a bit more um, even. So he does, uh, so green does decide to load up his troops again, and I think he's going to go and land on blue's islands and finish him off. Um, so blue does have a few more units now. He's been making a bunch of archers, um, but... I'm not sure if that's going to be enough, especially with all these heavy swordsmen in Green's army. So with the ship battle right now, we do see Green, I think, coming out ahead. He has a few more ships um, and has his down to his last three. So it is a bit hard to tell when there's a bunch of ships clumped together, but it does look like Green is going to take this sea battle and uh, push on. So he's loading in his last couple of troops, and he's going down to the South Island, actually. So um, there's not much there, it's just that some of my units were left there. Now, as an observer, I can't really um, control these units or anything. But neither, either way, uh, Green does decide to check down on this island, and he does find some of my troops that were left there. So it's going to be easily cleaned up. Um, he's just gonna check, I think, for the southmost island as well, or maybe not. But yeah, this is going to be one of the last battles soon when he, uh, so when Lob comes in to attack Green, uh, attack Blue's island over there. And he does decide to drop an archery range on this island as well. Um... And pretty soon we're going to see him load up all of his units and attack the final island. So Green actually is still macroing up at this moment. He has some units still being built at home, which is pretty good in case he gets a counterattack by Haz. Um, we just still <laughs> we're just waiting for him to get the last couple of units into his transport ship there, he doesn't want to leave anyone behind. Alright, I might skip ahead actually. And we now see Lop moving out towards the um, westmost island where Blue is. And funnily enough, um, Blue actually sent some ships to counterattack, uh, well, sort of, and he <laughs> doesn't realize that he's um, about to be attacked at his home base right now. A bunch of units come out, um, and unfortunately I don't think this is enough to stop, for, for Blue to stop this huge army. There's a bunch of units, like archers there, and they're falling very quickly, and I think this is going to be the final moments. Blue does try and pull back his ships to try and defend. Um, but I don't think this is going to be enough. There's a good number of ships, but there's just too much output of damage for Lop right now. And he's going to destroy a lot of these buildings before um, the ships can take it out. And actually, uh, Lop's crossbowmen are actually taking on these ships as well head on. So I think this is going to be the final moments of this game. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this free-for-all um, featuring Abuxigan, the developer, Lop, and Haz. 
So if you like this video, please smash the like button and subscribe for more content.